this video is going to be about uh, special effects, um, pyrotechnic special effects for videos or whatever else. And uh, I'm starting out with a uh, Krumora. Um, these are often used to simulate fireballs in movies when you're not able to make an actual large explosion. With sound effects, you can add a explosion noise to these, and it will look very, very powerful. Um, I've started, I've already made this pre-video. This is just a uh, tube I rolled out of craft paper, only a couple layers thick. And uh, I've just taped over the end, I haven't bothered gluing it, but you can glue it if you want. I've cut a hole in the side and stuck a fuse in. And um, the next step is to just fill just a little bit of black powder. It doesn't take much, just enough to cover the bottom so you can just barely see through the black powder and see the brown surface of the paper underneath little layer of tissue paper, toilet paper, Kleenex, whatever works. Whatever you have lying around, it'll it'll do for you. you just stick it down there to cover the top of the black powder. I'll use the back end of a screwdriver to press it down on there. Simple enough, it's covered. And uh, that'll keep what we're about to load in next to um, for mixing in with the black powder grains. All right try and set it down and keep it upright at this point because you have the black powder nicely spread over the bottom and you don't want to have that uh, bunch to one side. Alright, now your next step is going to be to fill this tube with whatever your fireball making material is. This can either be um, commonly used as a coffee creamer, high fat content powdered coffee creamer, or um, you can use uh, cornstarch is another good one flour, anything like that. Flour is not as good as cornstarch, but uh, it can be used. I'm just going to use uh, plain old charcoal powder. And uh, you can fill the tube with the length of this tube. You can fill it about halfway, almost all the way full. There's no, uh, no real measure of how much you should put in there, but uh, with a little experimentation you can figure out what works best with your type of black powder and how fast it is. This black powder can handle just about any amount I could lay in here without the tube blowing up. Which is one reason also why I make these out of uh, paper instead of some people will use like soup cans or you know, pop cans, anything like that. I make these out of paper just in case. It's not likely that they, were to, that they would blow up, but just in case you don't want a metal object blowing up that could be very dangerous. Instead, this paper were it to completely explode, it would bring no harm whatsoever to anything really. Alright, I've got my charcoal powder loaded in there. You don't want to tap it too much, you want to keep it nice and light and fluffy. These have to be used pretty quickly after making because they will, uh, the charcoal or whatever else will start to settle and um, at that point you won't have uh, a very large fireball coming out, you'll just have a big lump of uh, well, charcoal. Now this st step is not totally necessary but I find it makes a little better fireball. If uh, you don't want this to be appearing in your video you can go without it but it can take a larger Cremora in order to uh, work without this step. This is, I'm just just barely pushing a piece of uh, tissue into the top of the barrel and that um, gives a little more time to build pressure and for the charcoal to ignite before it leaves the tube some and uh, that way you're guaranteed a good fireball but then again this uh, piece of paper can stay burning when it comes out of the tube and uh, it's also something that might look a little odd in your fireball but we'll go light it and see what happens all right it's set for ignition right now I just brought it outside and set it down in the grass um, I've checked, there's nothing excessively dry lying around, it's, uh, we've had a lot of rain recently, and um, I have a hose nearby just in case it were to catch something on fire. Um, you would probably, if you're using these for special effects in a video of some sort, you'll probably not just have them lying out in the lawn, so it's uh, necessary if you have them in like a small structure, if you have it in like a dollhouse or something, to simulate an explosion or a model car or something like that. Um, it's necessary that you take the steps to keep yourself safe, make sure that you're not going to catch anything on fire, and uh, yeah, so just make sure to stay safe with that. Alright, here we go, we'll just uh, light the fuse down here. 
Alright. Yeah, that worked alright. Nice smoke ring rising up. Take a look, see here is the uh, tissue paper that it left over, so after firing one of these you gotta make sure to hunt this thing down, make sure you're not gonna you know, have this go land in a dry pile of leaves, which by the way shouldn't be around where you're doing this anyway. And uh, here's also the tube. This, it looks pretty messed up right now, but uh, really, still pretty structurally sound. You can use this for another, another uh, firing if you'd like. Though make sure there's no hot embers when you reload your black powder and all that. Make sure it's had a, plenty of time to cool down. Yeah, that worked all right. <laughs> 